Hey guys, how's it going? Eric Norris here. Today we're gonna talk about the top 10 mentors you need to know in order to have financial freedom and wealth and you just need to know these people because they are a wealth of information. They have extremely helped me over the years. And these are, some of them are personal mentors, some are virtual mentors that I've learned from every single one of these people and that I truly believe can help you and have already helped millions of other people. Uh, so let's just get right into it. We're gonna go from 10 all the way down to one. And uh, we're gonna start with an honorable mention that didn't quite make it to the list, but uh, Dave Ramsey. I know some of you might be surprised that he didn't, I mean, I'm mentioning him, so he's definitely worth mentioning because he's a brilliant guy. He's made multi-millions of dollars in real estate, but also with his uh, program as well. Um, I actually did his Financial Peace University, completed that course. It was amazing. I highly recommend it. I've read his books. They're really good. I agree with most everything that he uh, talks about. Um, he's really big about being debt-free and all that. I think that that's where we disagree because I truly believe that uh, there's good debt and then there's bad debt. And bad debt is like, let's say, student loans or you know maybe it's a home mortgage of your personal house. But good debt is rental properties, commercial real estate, you know, those kinds of things, things that are producing income for you. Um, so yes, but I highly recommend Dave Ramsey. Uh, you know, he's got a wealth of information, a lot of really good positive things to say, and he's helped millions of people get out of debt. And that's a very important thing. And that's really cool that he's spent his uh, majority of his life to, to dedicate himself to help these people. Um, all right, so let's go right into number 10. Um, it's someone that I know uh, personally. His name's Jason Hartman, and he's a brilliant guy. He's a big real estate guy. Um, he does a lot of single family residences. Um, you can check out his website, jasonhartman.com. It says here, Jason Hartman has been involved with several uh, thousand real estate transactions and has owned income properties in 11 states in uh, 17 different cities. And he's helped a lot of people uh, attain wealth as well by offering homes on his website. Um, and he's got a really good uh, YouTube channel and a really good podcast. I think Man, I started listening to him, I want to say at least 2012. It probably it might have gone before that, maybe 2010. I'm not sure. But I remember listening to his podcast back in the day and uh, just getting so excited to listen. I'd go on a walk every day and listen to him. Um, but I highly recommend him. And, you know, I uh, know of him, which is super cool. He came out to Nashville uh, a few years back. And um, yeah, we have some mutual friends that are also in real estate. And I highly recommend you check him out. These are all people I'm highlighting that if you don't know them, you need to subscribe to their channels because they are giving off some really good content. So Jason Hartman, uh, number nine, I put Brandon Turner on the list. Uh, he was the previous host of Bigger Pockets podcast. And another great podcast that had a, has a wealth of information that you can go listen to and learn about real estate. Because the key is once you understand how real estate works, you, there's certain principles you need to learn in order to execute. Once you learn them, you're like, you, you gain that confidence and then you can pull the trigger and make some good bucks. But um, yeah, Brandon Turner's awesome. Um, I met him actually. He was out here in Nashville this year and I got to meet him at a meetup and we all got to hang out afterwards. I got to take him to Robert's Western World. We got to hang out honky tonk. I had him dance with one of my friends. Thank you, Rachel, for doing that. It was such a fun night. Um, and he's just a really good dude. And he's such a hustler. Like he has so much passion and so much energy. He's done extremely well and um, just seems like a really great guy to, to just be a friend of. Um, so highly recommend you check out Brandon Turner. He goes by Beardy Brandon online. You can find him everywhere on there. 
Instagram, uh, YouTube, uh, all over the place. But uh, he is a wealth of information and just a darn good guy. All right, number eight, uh, Ty Lopez. If you guys don't know about Ty Lopez, he's an entrepreneur. Let me go to his uh, Wikipedia says, He's actually born the same year as I I was. Um, he, he's an American entrepreneur, an investor, motivational speaker, and an online personality. Uh, originally based in LA, Beverly Hills. I think he's living out in North Carolina at his farm now and doing a lot of farming and pasture raised, grass fed, natural. Like this is stuff we need right now. And it's so cool for someone like him that's so wealthy to be able to do that. It just shows he knows how important our health is. It's one thing to have wealth, but you really need to have our he your health as well. And that's also one of the big reasons why I like Ty so much is because he he's he's about the wealth, but he's also about balance. You know, you want to make sure. And he's got, I think, these four pillars. It's like health, wealth, love, and happiness. Talking about making sure you have a balance of all these things in your life to have a successful life. And... Um, He's, he is a wealth of information. He started out, I believe, making his money as a YouTuber. And what he would do is he would read books and then just regurgitate them. I probably should pick a better word. Uh, basically, go on his YouTube channel, shoot a video, and talk about each book that he had read. And why he is so brilliant, he's, he's just a brilliant mind because... He can read something and it's like a foot. I'm sure it's, he has a photographic memory because he memorizes and can quote things extremely well. I wish I had that talent and, and ability, uh, but he does. And I highly recommend you check him out. I'm sure he's got tylopez.com and a lot of YouTube channels that you can learn a lot of valuable information from him. Um, he also has done a lot of drop shipping stuff on Amazon. So if you guys are looking to do anything like that, um, he is a wealth of information about that and click funnels and stuff. Um, moving right along, number seven, Graham Stephan. I don't know if you guys know this guy, but a lot of <laughs> hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people do know of him. He is a big YouTube uh, creator on YouTube. And he started out, you know, he's a California guy as well, started out as a real estate agent in California and took all his commissions and just deployed it into real estate and bought in the market at the right time, I think 2011, right when it was like the perfect time to buy. And I believe he paid cash for the, his first couple properties. Um, but anyway, he's a very intelligent real estate investor. He he is a financial whiz. Like he, he's very good with his money. He's very frugal of all the millionaires on this list. Um, and there's something to be said about that. Why waste, right? Like. Um, I, I believe that when wealth or anything of value is given to you, if you treat it well, it'll come back around to you. And um, he's done extremely well. So he made most of his money in the early days in real estate and now in YouTube. And that takes us right along to our next guy, Meet Kevin. He's also in that same category. He's a really well-known YouTuber, creates a ton of great content just like Graham does. Um, and meet Kevin's awesome. And I like his personality a lot. Uh, I feel like, I feel like I'd be really good friends with him. He just has that, this personality kind of reminds me of my humor and like how my dad's humor was. And, but he's a brilliant mind as well. I mean, he, when he talks, he knows stocks extremely well. He knows real estate extremely well. So he's very similar to Graham where they both started out in California. He was also a real estate agent in California, in Ventura, and, you know, took all of his wealth, all of his commissions and deployed it into real estate as well. And he's really big on the wedge deals, trying to find, you know, finding deals that are under market value that need work and fix fixer uppers to where you create that wedge and you create that insulation of like maybe a 20% equity. <laughs> it's one of my favorite words. I'm going to do a list of my top favorite words at some point. Anyway, Meet Kevin. Go to his website. I highly recommend him. He's just entertaining and um, seems like a great guy. I feel like I'd get along probably all these guys really well. They just seem like good dudes. Anyway, Meet Kevin. Highly recommend. I think it's meetkevin.com. Moving right along. Number five, Ken McElroy. If you guys don't know Ken, 
he is one of, he's uh, Robert Kiyosaki's uh, guys, I guess you'd say, but he's also his own guy because he's, he's also written, I think he's written a few of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad books as well. And I'm sure I've read them. I think I've read all of them. Um, so Ken McElroy is a highly, I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel. Him and his wife do a great job about talking about what's currently going on in the markets, what to be aware of, what to prepare for. And what I like about his channel is there's no fluff, there's no clickbait, no nonsense. He gets to the point and talks about what's going on and that's what you really want, you know? You wanna get the truth, you wanna get the knowledge, you don't wanna get the clickbait, you click on it and then it ends up being something else. I highly recommend you check out Ken McElroy's uh, website. And just a little background on Ken, um, let's see, right here it says, for over two decades, uh, Ken McElroy has experienced great success in real estate, uh, in the real estate world through investments, analysis, acquisitions, property management, and property development. Um, he's really big on multifamily, and that's another reason why I like him a lot is because that's, I'm doing multifamily uh, residential, but I want to get into multifamily commercial, and he has a brilliant mind to um, learn from, and I highly recommend you guys check out KenMcElroy.com. Uh, he's a wealth of information, and definitely add his YouTube channel, subscribe to it as well, Ken McElroy. Uh, moving right along, number four on the top 10 list, Robert Kiyosaki. Dude, he's like the godfather. He was the guy that got me interested in real estate. I think it was 2006 is when I got the real estate bug. And the first book I read, this was, is the gateway, I feel like, because it came, it was early on, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. He's the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And the ABC's Real Estate Investing, Cashflow Quadrant. I recommend all these books. They're so good. And the reason why is because simply with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, that completely shifted my mindset and taught me the power of leverage and how key that is to getting ahead in, in your wealth and in real estate. And um, Robert Kiyosaki, he's also got a board game called Cashflow, which I own. There's a Cashflow the original, and then there's like a second version of it, Cashflow 2. And I have both of those. Super fun to play because it's literally just like you're doing real estate. I highly recommend if you want to get really well versed in real estate investing, listen to him, read his books. I highly recommend. He's, he's kind of like, I guess, the godfather, you could say, of real estate investing. And um, okay, moving right along. Number three, Grant Cardone. I love this guy too. I love all these guys, but I love Grant. I, I, I resonate with him. I, I, I like, he's got an interesting story. You know, he, uh, when he was a kid, you know, his dad worked really hard and his dad passed away uh, at a young age. I think he was in his fifties while Grant was a young kid you know, his mom had to sell the house. Like his dad worked so hard, got them their dream house. They moved in the dream house and shortly after he died. And then the only solution she had was to sell the house because there was no more income coming in. And I believe, I truly believe when things like that happen early on in a young child's mind, that can really shift their mindset to... <laughs> do, hey, how can I not make, you know, have this happen to me? And um, anyway, uh, Grant Cardone, he's a huge multifamily commercial real estate guy. He's like the whale, you know, he's, that's what he's known for. Even before he was on um, Undercover Billionaire, uh, which is a pretty cool show to watch, but I had been following him years before that. And what I love about him is he, he, I highly recommend you follow his YouTube channels because he gets into the art of the deal and breaks it down and just tells it as it is. And it's really about crunching those numbers, looking at your ROI, um, you know, cap rates and all those things. And, and he went to uh, college for um, accounting. So Numbers, you got to know your numbers, you know, not everyone ha is the mathematically minded, but you need to have that skill if you're going to be in investing. I mean, you just need to, you know, when I'm looking and in investing and I'm looking at a deal, 
you gotta within two or three minutes know if it's gonna be worthwhile or not to to move forward on and um but yeah, so Grant Cardone, I highly recommend. Uh, I have not met him yet. I've been down to Miami and I saw his condo. I was like, Grant lives there. Uh, I haven't met him yet. I'd like to meet him. Uh, all the people on this list that I haven't met, I sure would love to meet. Um, uh, anyway, highly recommend you check out Grant Cardone's YouTube page because there's a wealth of information there. Um, and, and his TEDx books, his growth conferences. I mean, man. Those are all huge uh, things too. And I've read all of, I think I've read Seller Be Sold, uh, The 10X Rule. There's a, another, there's a real estate investing book that he has. Uh, so I've invested every single one of these people I've deployed my funds into. And that's one of the things he taught, teaches is that invest in yourself first before you go invest into real estate because you have to have the knowledge, just like I said earlier, to attain the ability to execute, know what you're doing, go in with confidence and execute the deal and going, yes, this is a good deal. I'm gonna make this much money on it, let's go. All right, we're almost done. Getting very close to the end here. All right, my number two guy on the list, Pastor Rick Warren. If you guys don't know who Pastor Rick Warren is, he is the author of The Purpose Driven Life, one of the most successful books of all time, one of the greatest books I've ever read of all time. I mean, that book helped change my life. It really did. What's so beneficial about The Purpose Driven Life, it kind of bridges the gap between the Bible and everyday life of how you can apply it. And um, it's one of those things that, you know, when I first read it, I started reading it and mentally I wasn't ready for it yet. Had to put it down, then came back to it. And then once I I started gobbling it up, you, you know, you just get fed with all this wisdom and all these beautiful ways of how to live life. What what how our creator who created us has taught us ways to have a successful and thriving and beautiful life while we're here and have eternal life. But anyway, uh, Pastor Rick Warren, I highly recommend that you read The Purpose Driven Life because that completely changed my life. If there was one number one book in the world that has changed my life more than any other, I'd probably say that was it because that's when I became a believer at that point. Um, before I kind of said I was, uh, but I wasn't really walking the walk. And um I've learned so much from Pastor Rick. I used to go to Saddleback Church down in Orange County. I've met Pastor Rick. He's a fun-loving, great guy. He gives the biggest bear hugs. I met him on my birthday, which was so cool because like that was such a cool way to have a, you know, such a cool thing to happen on my birthday. Um, but anyway, I highly recommend you check out PastorRickWarren.com, The Purpose Driven Life. He's also got a book called The Purpose Driven Church, which is almost just as valuable. The information in there, you can apply that to business uh, in, in you know, creating um, you know, any kind of organization that, you have, that you're running. Like, there's a wealth of information in there as well. And he's got other books that I've read that I highly recommend as well. Um, but yeah, and then lastly, number one on my list, God, <laughs> Jesus, you know, um, the Bible. Talk about a mentor, man, you know, uh, where do I start? Um, I could get into this for a while, but, uh, you know, just just understanding that our creator created us, we're on this planet, and a lot of us just kind of stumble through life. And I've lived life my way on my terms for so long, and it just wasn't working. I wasn't successful. I, my, uh, every door was closed. It really was. I was like, I had blinders on, you know. But what's so amazing about the Bible and uh, understanding God's principles of how to live life, uh, it's just opened up doors and opened up my mind. It's made me a more well balanced human being, it's given me more peace. It's helped me deal with stress, with anxiety, depression, all those things that is plaguing our society even more so right now than ever before. I, I guarantee that if you follow any of these people or any of these books, I, I, I would almost guarantee 
that if you follow those rules and those, those aspects of what they have to say, ye, it will truly benefit and change your life for the better. I truly, truly believe that. It's done that in my life. It's done it in so many other millions of people's lives. Um, and so, yeah, so that's the list. That's the top 10 list. Dave Ramsey, Jason Hartman, Brandon Turner, Ty Lopez, Graham Stephan, Meet Kevin, Ken McElroy, Robert Kiyosaki, Grant Cardone, Pastor Rick Warren, and God. <laughs> what a, talk about the ultimate mentor. Like, he created us, you know, and he's given us this book right here. This is basically our instruction manual of how to live. And if you guys haven't read this, and it might be hard for you to, to wrap your mind around trying to want to do that, I guarantee that when you do open this up and read it, blessings will flow. <laughs> it really, I know it might sound cliche, but it's really true. Anyway, I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, if you found this valuable, you think this might be valuable to a friend, please send it off to a friend. Or even if you're part of like a Facebook group, maybe that, uh, is doing similar stuff. Um, this is a good, uh, starting point. This is a good place to go. Okay. Where are some people I can follow that I can greatly benefit my life and have financial freedom and live a, hopefully a well-balanced life? And um, yeah, I really hope you guys found this message well, and I hope that you learn something from this, whether it's just from this video or f connecting with all these people and all their websites and all their YouTube channels and gaining that wealth of information. Like I said, if you like this video, if you found value in it, I hope, which I hope you did, please like, please subscribe, tell a friend. I'm trying to build this channel up to give value and to give back and to help other people that need it because we all need help, man. Life can be such a struggle. So let's uh, encourage each other. Let's help each other out and help me out by liking and subscribing. Anyway, guys, Eric Norris, hope this found you well. Have a great day. Take care.